going to start seeing more of these green lights at Detroit gas stations and businesses. They are part of a program called Project Green Light, which is a partnership between businesses and Detroit police. It is putting high-definition security cameras in place that are constantly monitored back at DPD headquarters. And even in its early stages, it is proving to be a pretty effective deterrent. Sean Lay got a first-hand look at it today, and he's going to tell us now about the plans to expand the program already. Sean? Devin Project Greenlight, given the green light by the city January 1st, so just 29 days ago. So we want to update people on what's happening with the project. Tonight, big news that Project Greenlight is going to expand in a big way. And we also have our first examples of what those cameras are capturing. These are crystal clear images of every parent's worst fear. 7.30 yesterday morning, that's a nine-year-old boy on his way to school running across Jefferson Avenue to catch up with his friends. He's hit by a yellow taxi. That little boy is so very lucky he could have been killed. He suffered a broken leg. The taxi driver keeps going. What was an accident is now a serious crime. Detroit police getting a head start on this case because of the high-tech cameras that the gas station owner installed on his business. Cameras linked back to the Detroit Police Real-Time Crime Center, where people there were able to see the accident and quickly give police a description of the taxi, and police have made contact with that driver. The cameras and crime center are called Project Greenlight, called this its first success. And Police Chief James Craig says the program is about to grow in a big way. We have 30 stations uh, waiting uh, that we're going to be moving forward on. Excited about that. They're excited. Uh, we met with McDonald's just yesterday. Uh, they want in. The program is new, but in this case, a deterrent. Let's look at another video from another green light gas station. Here, some words are being exchanged inside the gas station. The man in red, he points to the Project Green Light sign. He knows he's being watched and he walks away. Back here live right now, four Project Greenlight stations on the east side, four on the west side. As you just heard the chief say, 30 new businesses, gas stations, and party stores, they went in along with McDonald's. And now tonight we're learning that the company ADT, Devin, also wants to tie in its cameras into the police system. Back to you. Well, Sean, it's interesting because some people have complained, long complained, that businesses need to understand that protecting their customers is part of the price of doing businesses or business. And these businesses are paying for the cameras, right? Yeah, that's the deal here. If you want in and want police to be watching your cameras, you pay for them. About $6,000, but we checked with the first gas station to add the cameras, add the extra lighting. It did cost $6,000, but he says his business is way up because customers see him uh, as safer. In that sense, it might help pay for itself. Exactly. All right.